Well, folks, it is duck opener. How many boats are out here? Would you say there's four? On the sixth boat? Yeah. What time is it? Early AF. I got up at 2.15 a.m. and I'm still the sixth boat. We should have just camped here. Oh, Rick's pissed. He's pissed. I saw the boats. There might be another boat ramp down there, but anyways, we're getting the boat in the water. Hopefully, we're fixing to shoot some teal. It's duck opener. We got slamming. We've got Bonds Addy. We've got Zeke. No, we have Sadie. Zeke's the other. Oh, Zeke's right there. Is that Zeke? Sadie. Come here, Sadie. That's What's Zeke. up, Puff? Oh, and there's Sadie. Anyways, we've got dogs here. We gotta get the boat in the water. So we'll have our own little slough back here. Yeah. I doubt it, no one's gonna come back here. I don't know if it'll be any good. Do we want to put our boat on this side or do you wanna put them right up against each other? So you wanna go behind them? Go no, my nose to their motor? Yeah, so I'm yeah. saying that'd be behind them. Yeah. Okay. Probably need to grass the blind up a little bit. This ain't too bad though. This is uh, this is brown. Grass is brown, so. I think we'll be alright. Slamming, you ready to do some big things for your country? Oh yeah. He's upside down. That does not look right. It's my first time duck hunting, guys. Stay tuned. Bonzo, what is this? It's my decoy. What does it do? Put a uh, stabilizer. Put it on the crazy kicker. Where's the crazy kicker? Put it on the bottom. Oh, this thing. John thought it was uh, Thor's hammer. You just thought, he just thought you were just bringing it. Oh, this thing's pretty cool. Who, when did you get this? Bond's over here with the secret techniques here. Is this thing, I'm guessing this thing spins or something, huh? I think it's broken. Oh, oh, what was it? What is that, what does that do? Do you see, do you ever see a duck twirl's feet like that? Oh, what about, oh, oh, you gotta do it like that. Okay. Now, hey, and it splashes water. Hey, I figured it out, don't worry. Yeah, follow through. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Listen, this is your big day, okay? This is what we've been training you for. More like Bonzo, not me. This is your big day. You ready for it? I'm hyping her up. It's like, you know, when like you go to a boxing match and they're like rubbing their shoulders, like, ah, you got this. The old one, too. We're doing the same thing here, all right? You got this, all right? You need some Red Bull, you look tired. How That's about good. Zeke, how's Zeke doing right now? Now we got both of them. In the left corner, this is Zeke. How's it going, Bubby? You ready for this? Has Bonzinator been training you? you ready I was go? trying to give him like a pep talk, like massage her shoulders and stuff and get him out. Here, Zeke, sit. Hey, you ready, buddy? Duck dogs don't That's need to do that. Yeah, they, they don't they, you were ducks in. It does. Yeah. He's ready. It's because when he like brings the teal back, you can be like, high five, my dude. Look at that, True. he's looking you know for fish. Saying? Look at that. I've been taking him fishing too much. Look at him. Ducks. What fish? <laughs> well, decoys are out. We'll turn this off so you can see. Spinning wing things are up. Dog is prepped. We got Kaylee for good luck. We got Kaylee for good luck. I hope it brings us good luck because we got Bonds Daddy back there. He's kind of stinky. Evens sometimes. it out a little bit. Yeah. You ready for this? I Howdy. scouted. You scouted. Did you scout this yeah, place? no, I didn't see. I didn't scout this place. So if it's cheeks, it's on you. 50 cents at Walmart. What is it though? Is it a cookie? It's a blueberry cake. I don't know. You got me fruit and grain. What is this? And you got, what is it? A, a blueberry or do what? It says blueberry cake. It's 50 cents at Walmart. That's your pre-breakfast. Yo, it looks good. So I said, Bonzo, go to Walmart, get eggs, get bacon, pre-breakfast, which is breakfast you eat before breakfast because we get up at 2 a.m. The thing is we had it at the house, but you weren't at our house. Yeah, sorry, man. Had what? Pre-breakfast? Yeah. We had fire pre-breakfast. What? Bur burritos. Breakfast burritos. <laughs> Bro, you didn't stay over. Dude, you broke the morning ritual. Opening day. Oh, I'm about to go on the other boat. You guys got anything over there? I guess I'll enjoy my peasant food. I haven't had one of these since I was in second grade. Mmm, that's so good, dude. It's better than a breakfast burrito. You guys really have breakfast burritos? Yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable. All right, Bonzo's not on um, pre-breakfast duty anymore. Honestly, it's not that bad, but I was expecting something better. I'm gonna time check. 5.05, we have an hour and 40 minutes. Hundreds of deal, and they have a lot of 
it's laying it right in front of us. This is gonna get good. There's like, we we're guessing 40 to 50 hunters on this small lake today. It's gonna be a war zone. You guys stay tuned. Time, time, the shooting time. There's a group right in front, right in front, low. Shoot these, shoot these, shoot these. Keep an eye out, keep an eye out. How's it going? He's right on it. We got a couple, couple down, boys. Absolute war zone out here now. Right in front. There you go! Good shot, boys! That was a good shot. He came right in. Oh! Who sniped that? Shoot! Sam! 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 Did you snipe that? Hey! Catch that, Bobby! Dude! That about hit Slayman. I you shot No, I didn't shoot. It's hot and heavy, boys. But what an absolute crazy start. It's hot and season, baby. There's someone behind us. Dude. There you Ooh. go. Ooh, nice. Someone yeah. just someone just rained on us. Hey, the left. The left. Yeah. There we go. Shoo! That was a poke, boys. This is at, you hear the gunshots. This oh group Bonzo. <laughs> Got him! That was a good one, boys. Dude, they're coming in hot. Oh, three right here. There's one right there. Right in front. Yep. Sam, grab Slam that one. Sam, grab that one. It's wounded. <laughs> yeah, it's going right towards him. All right. Dude, no. Sam's a dog. At Another point. one down, baby. This is crazy. I didn't know we had three dogs. We've Sam's got, the third one. So Sam's killing the dog game right now. Oh, baby, right, right, right. right. <laughs> Double, oh, baby. Nice job, dude. Heck yeah. <laughs> Two just dumped in. They're done. <laughs> he shot that one-handed, dude. He was retrieving a duck and shot another one. This is insane. Like, they're just coming in so fast. That's just like, this is just unreal, boys. And there's people shooting right next to me. We got sprayed with BBs. Oh, wait, what did I just say? What did I just say? We just got sprayed. They just shot right there and hit us. This is unreal. Absolutely unreal. <laughs> Wait. She down. Bring it on in here. Shoot, what is that? How many does that make? Quite a few. Look at these guys. Beautiful little blue wings. They've been an absolute treat today. We have seen so many birds. We've all gotten shots on. We've all killed birds. But the morning is still young. We still have plenty of time. Checking the oil back there. Everything's good. Just want to make sure we can get back to the boat ramp. Ooh, that one's gonna be, is that, uh, is that ground beef already or what, boys? Ooh. Shoot! Ooh. Shoot! Demonetization right there, boy. Yeah, the old uh, catch, clean, cook happened all at one time, huh? Now we just gotta oh. cook it. I'm so excited to eat these. Kind of, for, kind of forgot that we get to eat these. They're so good. How'd that go? It's good. Oil was good. Dude, Oil that was, was like good. a 10 good. minute pee. Yeah. No, it was bad, dude. Anyways, uh, little break. We've been, we've been clapping, boys. I think we're up to 15 as a group and we can shoot 36 sheesh we're not even halfway there boys start to slow down we're just getting the onesie twosies in mainly just missing them but we're still we're still getting them in but you guys need to stay tuned for the best part which is going to be breakfast we brought eggs and bacon and hash browns we just have a little butane thing and then a little grill so chefing it up it's going to be a little bit interesting but we're still we're still killing birds and we do plan to catch clean and cook these later on in today's video so you guys stay tuned It right there. That thing was coming in hot, no dude. Kidding. Austin's got a mark on. Dude, that thing was coming in hot. Yeah. That wasn't close. We sprayed either. and I mean, prayed, baby. Good boy. Good boy. Hidden in the reeds, he just comes out with it. Yay! The old blue wing. Fast food. That's what I'm talking about. Who needs Mickey D's? We got this. Oh, there's a punch right in front. Right in front. Right here. Right here. Right here. Shoot that. Kill it. Yeah! Nice. There we go. go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That That's thing was hauling ass. That's 19. That's number 19. I, I literally baby. went up and I was like, it's out of my zone. Like I couldn't even. It was just, yeah, I just smoked it. Yeah, bro. There you go. 
that Shoot one. that one. Oh, there you go. Bon's daddy. I hit it. Bon's daddy hit it. Yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't I had to swing that. all the way like around here and finally got to it. I think it was fast. Fast food. That's what we're saying. Right? I mean, yeah, it's not slow. <laughs> got some patties, some brown eggs. Organic. Oh, yeah. AF. Ow. It's breakfast time, boys. Right in front. Right in front. Right in front. Up top. Slamming. Yeah, oh, baby. There you go. Yeah. Sharpshooter. There you go. Slavish. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> did you just dab? That thing got murked. You got, you smoked. Oh, you smoked <laughs> that shot. thing. Anyways, yeah. uh, we're about to fire up the old bacon and eggs. And all of a sudden, Slam was like, there's one coming in, and he just took its head off. That was a great shot. All right, well, time for breakfast. We're just about about done here. Been moving pans around and cooking on. I mean, you can see how level this is. This is pretty much optimal for all things cooking. But we got bacon done, hashies done, eggs done. We're feasting. So far, we've seen a few more birds, but no one's popped off around. So I think once the bacon, the smell of the bacon kind of lingers in there long enough, the the bird should come right in. Come. There you go. The thing like went woo, looped all the way around. Anyways, we're done with breakfast. Just killed one more. I think that's up to 23, 24. That's a four man limit. Yep, that's a four man limit. We got that one. Yeah, I hit that one right in the rumper. It's, it went down, okay? We're here for kill shots. Bird down. <laughs> Snipe him. Oh, no. Another one, baby. She gone. Wait. Throw a rock at it, hey, Andrew. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey! Shot. I was like, got a rock. I was like, ah! So basically, a teal came in, and I was gonna shoot it, and then I was like, ah, let me wait. And then it got in front of the spinners, and then it landed. So I was about to okay, yeet a rock. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oh, hang on, oh. hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There you there go! go. We're at, yeah, we're at 31 now. Yeah. Shoo! We can get 36, that's a limit. We are five away from a limit. Anyways, I was I was about to throw a rock to scare it up so we didn't have to water swat it. It automatically got up. Four people shot, it went down. Another teal came in, went down. I don't know if we're gonna stay long enough to get our limit, but we're gonna be darn close. walking this way Shoo, look at all these birds yeah we got a lot we got a lot of cleaning the good the good news is these are I honestly probably the easiest birds to clean we kept a three-man limit because that's how many shooters we had in my boat and uh, Austin's brother and dad took the rest we came out with 32 31 33 33 so we were three away from a six man limit and that's how many shooters we have so we, we could have limited out but we i've got a lot of stuff going on today and we got to come back we got to clean these and then we're going to cook some of them not all of them we're going to probably cook like let's say we'll cook maybe half a dozen six that's it that's enough for, for for lunch for everybody yeah 12 little nugs you guys will see us how we're going to do these we're going to cook them like filet mignon steaks um but we are going to get to cleaning i'll do a little tutorial here in a second you gotta stay tuned all right step one to cleaning make sure you do it uh, in your front lawn. That way all your neighbors with small children can see. Uh, lessons, you know, valuable lessons in life of, uh, you know, living off the land and uh, hunting and fishing and stuff like that. I'm sure your neighbors are gonna appreciate this. See, yeah, yeah, it's a bird's nest. See, we brought all the birds to the nest. All right, so step one is you feel kind of on the breast here and then there's gonna be a hole right there. You can see my finger up here, hole. What you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of pinch a little bit and then stick your knife right through there and I just cut a nice hole like that then what you're gonna do is take your fingers and stick them under the skin so you can see like there's the skin right there stick it under the skin and pull like that same thing on this side stick your fingers right under the skin and pull back 
just like so. Kind of pull it all apart. Like I said, they're pretty stinking easy to clean. Do that, expose all the meat. Then what you're gonna do is, this is a little chest bone. You're gonna wanna go cut on each side just like this, and I like to angle my knife in. How's it going, neighbor? I like to angle my knife in so you don't miss too much meat. So just kind of slowly do this. And then there's also a bone that runs this way. So I usually take my knife and I'll run down here, just like that. Once you have that, honestly, you can just kind of use your fingers, kind of pull that apart, and then you just want to cut along the rib cage. Oh, you got a lot of neighbors driving by. Go all the way down, just like that. Same thing right here. You just want to follow that bone so you don't miss too much meat. Boom. Duck booby. Boom. That's how you do one side and do the other side. As you can tell, we've got a lot of birds to clean. So, you guys enjoy the time lapse. Boom. Look at this. Didn't really do a whole lot of vlogging, but we got bacon wrapped here. I cut all the breasts in half, so they're poppers. Took some bacon wrapped out, and then even threw a little bit of the Cosmo Texas beef. Just, just a light seasoning on the meat. You don't need it, but we wanna try it. So we've got them all wrapped up. This was only, I don't even know if it was half. So this is, I bet this would be like eight. Well, let me do the math, that would be. So this is five, you know those little baby teal that are flying around that we're shooting? These are five of them. I mean, that's a ton of meat for just five of these things. I mean, so that means we got 20 of these poppers. Yeah, math's hard, I know. Anyways, we're headed out to the grill. He's hot. All right, here we go, boys. Oh yeah. Full freaking grill, baby. We'll let those guys rip for, I don't know, maybe three minutes. Flip them over another two minutes, and they'll be good to go. You want the medium rare. If you overcook duck in general, it's not gonna taste good. So you wanna make sure that it's medium rare. Just when you think the bacon is edible, that's when you wanna take them off the grill. So we're gonna wait for these to cook and then start munching. Shoo! Look at these suckers. What do you think? It's been probably three minutes on each side, two minutes on each side. Not too long. Bonzo has this little grill mat thing, which is nice because it keeps all the grease on the grill, so it's easy to fry all the bacon. But even though this bacon isn't super, super crispy, the meat inside is gonna be done, and you definitely don't wanna overcook the meat. We got everything ready to rock and roll. This looks like the per I feel like it's too bad football is not on. It's almost football season. This is like this would be like perfect snack. The other thing we should try next time is I want to do jalapeno poppers, Ooh, where you yeah. put jalapeno in there, cream cheese, and then wrap it in bacon with the meat. Anyways. Take this into the boys and see what they think. Lunch is served. Fast food, whatever you want to call it. Marsh to grill. Marsh to grill. Marsh to fat. For, field to fork. Marsh to grill to. Yeah. Marsh to table. Mar it's got to start with an M though. Oh. Marsh to. Yeah, I'll be here all day if I try to come up with something. But anyways, let's get some knives and forks and start eating. You guys stay tuned. About to go in here. Look at that thing. Piece of steak wrapped in bacon. Don't eat the toothpick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, if I was blindfolded, I'd say a steak. Why do you, first off, before, before we get into this, it's not a fruity drink this time. Stick that hunk of meat in your mouth, big guy. Mm. Wow. Wow. Yeah. We got we, really we, we got a, we got a bonzo wow. Perfectly cooked. We got a bonzo wow. Yeah, like I said, if you guys want the bacon extra crispy, which it's not bad the way it is, it's just if you're used to crispy bacon and you really want it, you you need to pre-cook it to where like you, it's like maybe halfway cooked and then you take it off and then wrap it around the meat and then throw it on the grill. Cuz right now it's it's cooked, it's not raw, but it's not super crispy. But then you, again, you don't want the actual meat, the teal to be overdone. If it's overdone, it's not going to taste good. It has to be medium rare. Basically, you want to cut it open and you want to see a little bit of red in there just like that and you're good to go anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode remember if you guys want any ducks gear go click the link down below and go sign up and the boat that we shot all these birds and boys this is the first time we hunted out of the boat and is it not the luckiest boat it is. it's a lucky freaking boat that's the most teal that i have ever shot in one day yeah i, I think honestly it might be like I've, I've clapped teal before but i don't know if i've ever been a part of a group that has shot 30 plus i have never been a part of a group where we've come home with more than 30 so i think that this boat is kind of lucky so if you guys want to have that luck for yourself and win the boat all you gotta do is click the link down below and go sign for the shirt of the month club remember every month that you're signed up is an entry so if you want to sign up for six months stay subscribed for six months you get entered six times also ducks has a bunch of gear like this fire freaking hat that just dropped and a whole bunch of other stuff and uh, it'll all be linked down below if you guys wanna go check it out. Anyways, we're gonna finish. Grub a dub a dub and grub a grub a dub dub, scrub a dub dub in the tub. Thanks for watching. Peace.